Uh, my name is Andrew Worrell. I'm a young entrepreneur, and I'm, I've been very much inspired by your story and your success. Uh, first of all, starting from the fact that we both went to the same high school, so. <laughs> Queens Royal College, good school. Uh, my question for you, uh, I have two questions actually. You are very much involved in, uh, as the chairman um, in a large number of organizations. What determines the organizations that you get involved in? And secondly, have you yourself ever personally invested in a startup company? Yeah. The company, the, the company where I started, yeah, I started uh, my own company. Outside of associated brands? Outside of associated, yeah. A lot of other things I started. I, mean, I built along circular mall. I mean, I started through values to markets. I sold it. I bought and sold, eh? <laughs> and I bought, I sold, I developed, I sold, and various things like that. So the number of ventures that I'm, I'm in, that I was in, that I went into, that probably a lot of people don't know, but um, I went into it, I developed it, sold it, uh, um, I, I sold on circular mall and true value supermarkets to Clico. What else did I do? Let me see. I, can't, I can't the number of various things. <laughs> we know, we know, we know, we know. <laughs> Around the place. Uh, some... Thing, um, yeah, and uh, yeah. Well, and, and and I was involved in a number of uh, the, 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 those startups. Uh, started Charles Candy. Uh, um, he started that. And Vernon Charles was a very fine entrepreneur. Many of you may not know him because I think that some of you may. Uh, he's still still alive. He's, Doing very well in Canada, playing golf. <laughs> but um, when Vernon was migrating, he had um, he had an idea to start his chocolate factory, and, and he ran into some difficulties. That there were no secret at the time. Ran into some difficulties with the government of the day, um, the Eric Williams government at the time, and and Vernon decided to leave the country. Uh, it was a big loss to the country because Vernon had developed the Express newspaper, Val Park shopping mall. A flavorite foods. He was a fantastic entrepreneur, but man, his time. And um, when, of course, he inherited his, his father's business, which was uh, solo, actually, and, 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 and so on. But he left, and he, he had an idea, a different idea of this chocolate company. And <clears throat> I knew him, and we spoke, and, and so on. And, uh, and that's how come I, I got it. I said, well, you know, let me see what this looks like and everything. And at that time, I was also trying to see if I can get into my own business. And, um, and that was it. And, uh, and I took it over from him. He had gone. He had a piece of land that he was starting in. And I, I bought a piece of land from him. I, I, I mortgaged my house, went to the bank, did this, this, that, that, the other, and started from there. And then later on, I started Sunshine Snacks, totally separate. <coughs> then internationally, we went on to, to uh, look at uh, the Mediterranean. It was, it was during the oil boom at the time when a lot of people were investing in, a lot of people were buying apartments in Miami during those eight days with the, with the oil boom. And so on that, and we decided to say, okay, fine, let me see what other areas that they had to look at. And uh, again, opportunities came our way, and, um, and I invested in Malta with some other people over there. And later on again, we had a situation with the, I mean, I, quite by accident, I met someone actually who is a member of the royal family of Malaysia, and we, we spoke and everything to other, and he wanted to. And again, we went into business, built, built a chocolate factory over there. Uh, that we wanted to sold to Nestle. So there were opportunities that came on. A lot of it were not necessarily planned. I didn't plan to go into Malaysia. I didn't have no business plan saying I was going to put a factory in Malaysia. Basically not. But basically, things happen and we seize the opportunity at time and then basically afterwards you make a strategic fit with your businesses and then you, you, you start to figure it out from there. Excellent. 